All right, so now I have the ball bouncing a little bit, but you know, you can tell it's not really looking like a real ball bouncing, it's kind of floating. So what we want to do is start to do some things here to help it look more like it's a heavy or a ball that has some weight. I'm going to uh, open in my saved layouts, I'm going to open perspective and graph. Okay, so I'm going to use the graph editor to edit the bouncing of this ball. So I have the ball selected, so all of the attributes about the ball is showing. So I click on translate uh, Y, and that's the up and down motion of the ball. And I'm going to go to view and frame all, and now I have a better curve, than, a curve that looks more like the actual curve, and it's put in the whole uh, section of curves. Now, what I'm going to do is to highlight the bottom keyframes, okay? So I'll go up to Linear Tangent. That is this one that looks like an upside down V. I'm going to click on that, and what it does is it puts these uh, uh, tangents up and makes the drop a little sharper. So if I pull this across, you can see that now it doesn't float quite as much. It, the ball goes up and it drops down at a point and comes straight back up. But now we still want to do a little more to it than that. It still seems to have, to have a little bit of a float to it. So I'm going to go to tangent. No, um, I'm going to go to keys and I'm going to break those tangents. Now those tangents are, occur, are still selected. And when I click it, you'll notice that each one of the tangents on each side changes colors. I'm going to highlight the one on each side. I'll click on the move tool. I'm going to use my middle mouse button and I will uh, and I'll do the same here. Highlight the uh, actual keyframe, move the tangents, and I'm trying to make this curve a little more uh, rounded. See, so it uh, highlight and I'll click and then I'll use my middle mouse and I'll pull that tangent up just a little bit so it gets uh, more of a, a curve and because the tangents are broken uh, one side does not affect the other so now I have more of a smooth curve and we'll go back out we pop this up and now look at the way that ball looks it looks like it's going up into a good arc and it's dropping uh, down okay so now if I go to X which is just a straight uh, movement across the board I have you know keyframes at 20 10 30 50 and I don't need all of those because it's just going across the field so I'm just going to highlight those tangents or those keyframes and click on them and delete them so I have a keyframe at uh, for the X position just at 1 and at uh, 60 and that that's enough. The, the small amount of information you have in your t uh, uh, animation, the quicker it'll run. Now, when I run this animation, it does it runs too fast, so I'm going to go to the animation preferences and change that to real time, 24 frames per second, and I'll click on it again. And now the ball goes across the field more as it should, and uh, it looks correct.